Number 29. How are the Bohr model and the Rutherford model of the atom similar? And then how are they different? All right, so this one's pretty straightforward, right? The similarities between the Bohr model and the Rutherford model is that they're both models, right? The difference is, is that they're different scientists. One was Bohr and one was Rutherford. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you want, you can click the subscribe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wish it was that simple. <laughs> all right. So let's. Sorry, I just cracked myself up. Anyway. All right. So what are the real similarities between the Bohr model and the Rutherford model? So I'm going to put B-O-H or the Bohr model here and the Rutherford model over here. And I'm going to draw what each one of them basically look like, right? For both of them, they all contained a central nu uh, nucleus, right? So the Bohr model said that there was a nucleus. The Rutherford model said that there was a nucleus. And both of them said that inside the nucleus, so this is the nucleus, both inside the nucleus was majoritively positive because they both believed that there were protons, which are positive, and neutrons, which have no charge. So for both of them, there was protons and neutrons in both of them. So the nucleus was a positive nucleus. So that's one similarity, positive nucleus. Okay. Also, another similarity is that this is where the bulk of the mass was. Bulk of mass, the atomic mass. So they both realized that the nucleus was where majority of the mass came from in an atom. So that's also another similarity. Okay. Now here comes actually one more similarity before we do the differences. So they both discovered that there were electrons as well, and they both knew that they were outside of the nucleus. So that's another similarity. So I'm just going to put that over here. Both believed, both Bohr and Rutherford, both believed electrons, E negatives, were outside of nucleus. I'll just put N. Yeah? Now here comes the differences. Rutherford came first. Bohr built upon Rutherford's model. So that's why Bohr's model is a little bit more in depth. Rutherford just stated that, yeah, well, okay, the, you know, the electrons were outside of the nucleus, but where? Eh, there is, you know, different places. So maybe an electron could be here. Or maybe an electron could be over here. Or maybe an electron could be here. Rutherford didn't specifically say where the electrons were located. They just said, he, or he just said that um, electrons were outside of the nucleus in basically in a cloud. So the electrons could be placed anywhere. Bohr, on the other hand, as we've been seeing Bohr's models, we have been drawing those specific shells. So Bohr expanded on Rutherford and said, no, 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 Rutherford, the electrons are only allowed to be in the shells. So whether you have a shell of n equals 1 or n equals 2, and n equals, you know, 3, 4, 5, this one would be n equals 1, n equals 2, it was Bohr who invented the thought of that these electrons were specifically in their specific shells. And also Bohr was the one that said that the electrons could jump, whether they can jump from uh, higher shells, so one to two, or they could jump backwards from two to one. So that's the differences between Bohr and Rutherford. Also, Bohr specifically said and he came up with the quantization type of rule. So he said that the energies of the electrons were quantized, meaning that they were discrete numbers because electrons cannot exist inside of a shell. It either has to be n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, basically a whole number. So you could jump between the, or the shells but you could never be in between. Rutherford basically just said, eh, well, the electrons were, you know, wherever. Who, who, who knows? They're just outside the nucleus. So those are the similarities and the differences. So the similarities, once again, is they both had a nucleus. It was positive. 
And that was where the bulk of the mass was, as well as electrons were outside of the nucleus. The, the difference, the main difference, was that Bohr came up with the idea of the shells and that the energies of the electrons were quantized. They were discrete numbers. They were able to jump. And yeah, so that's the similarities and differences between the Bohr model and the Rutherford model. Now I can say, guys... <laughs> Thank you so much for coming here. Hopefully this helped. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. Keep studying really hard, right? Let me know how you guys are doing in your class. Love to hear from you guys. If you want, you can click the subscribe button. But anyway, subscribe or not, I'll see you guys in number 30. Bye-bye.